Welcome back team. You are gaming with the Colonel and this is Strategic Command WW2 World at War. It is time for a brand new game where I am playing the Allies against Old Crow Balthazar. So let's see how he dealt with Poland in the first turn. I've got some folks here today so I may have to uh, hit the pause button a couple times but I'll always be back and it won't be an issue. All right, here we go. He moves on up. He declares war on Poland. And let's see what else. I wonder if he wants to get into Luxembourg quickly. Here we go. So I noticed he used the interceptor just to fly some some quick um, reconnaissance to get the to get the enemy interceptor out of the way. Killed that tank. Oh, all the way to Warsaw. Good move. How do you do that? I've never been able to do that. I'm going to have to study this move later on. I've never been able to do this well with uh, the Germans to get that many units on Poland, on Warsaw, and one round. Holy moly. A one-turn takedown of Poland. Obviously, he knows what he's doing. This is going to be bad. <laughs> this is going to be bad. Do I even get a turn? Or is, am I just gone immediately? I don't even know. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. I'd love it if he survived, but he won't. <clears throat> surprising. That was one piece of good luck. Ah, so there's that. There's always that question. Do you pop that headquarters unit? I think the answer is yes. He's got two units out there. All right, so here we go. <sighs> so, army destroyed, army destroyed, army destroyed. World War One has begun. Capture, capture, captured. Um, Poland surrenders. I didn't even get a turn. Did not even get a turn. Okay, Red Army Conflict. Should we be attacked, the military will deploy the following forces. Okay. This is my first Allied playthrough, so it's going to be interesting. So Leningrad Front is going to have a battleship, a light cruiser, and a submarine, and an HQ. The Baltic will get a rifle. Western Front. Okay, so those guys... Let's see what we can do. 300 mile zone. We're now at war. Do we send the expeditionary force? Absolutely. 
And let's see what we got going on. Let's start over here with the Chinese. All right, so <clears throat> first things first, like everybody always tells me, the headquarters are the most important units, and I should set them on auto assist. What's going on here? Why can't I set you on auto assist? Oh, there we go. Okay, so first things first. I want to protect that guy, so I think I'm going to send him up here. It's three spaces, but he needs to come south. Move that guy that way. And perhaps this guy up as well. No, we'll see. All right, so he has three action points. Going this route, it's kind of slow. So I learned that you can drop a guy in here and put him here, and then you can swap those guys out, right? So he needs to definitely come back or come down. And then you need to take care of these guys by coming down here here, or we just send him backwards and down this way. Oh, he can't even go in there. I think you need to come forward. We'll fortify here. And what I really want to do is get this and this, right? Not here, although that wouldn't be bad either. Probably a good choice. Let's go ahead and just do that. I really feel like I need another unit down south. But he can get all the way to here. This guy can hit here, but then he can't get back. I don't really want to let him around. The fact that it's raining is bad, right? It's plus one. Otherwise, I could have hit him and gotten back. That said, he can go there. But do I want to give up this hex? I don't think so. However, he is entrenched. Yeah, I definitely don't want to give that up. So let's move you back there. I'm going to force march you all the way here. He doesn't know I'm force marching. I'll do it. Is that the right choice? Yeah, because he can't get there. You. I think also needs to go south. Maybe not. This guy definitely needs to go to the rear. He'll be uh, fixed later, I think. Let's check on uh, some research. I'm going to be much more deliberate this game, guys. So 
um, be aware of that. So we're definitely going to do infantry weapons, which doesn't leave us with much money, which is 32. So you are definitely leaving. Uh, you're going to leave and be a reinforcement another time. I'm glad he didn't get destroyed. All right. So, I can't reinforce him. I can put one in here. 32 gives me a total of a couple of points. Okay, so you are going to set mode ground. I don't want to intercept, I don't think. No, I can't, guess I can for one more turn. Okay, you're going to move back here. And you're going to come down that way. Hold on. Is that the best move? Or should I just move you south? I can't move you south. Hmm. Hold on for a second, guys. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry, team. Where was I? Uh, I think I already checked my research and got infantry weapons one going. Okay, so you're going to come down here, so you're going to come back because you're going to go south. Now you are going to swap with him. And you will... Be fine right where you're at. You're probably going to have to do this again. We're just going to go ahead and move back. All right, so you kind of want to move up here. I am entrenched there. I don't really want to eliminate the entrenchment. Same thing with him. He's got no entrenchment. I just moved him there. Okay, so. <laughs> Real question is, where do I put him? I think that would probably hold. Do I bring him over here? Should have unattached him, but that's okay. These three are going to be fine. Uh, he's probably going to get ripped. I'm going to need more units there for sure. The question is, do I bring him forward max speed now? Get him to here. And that way I have more flexibility. I think so. That brought his morale down a whole bunch. But now I can grow back and I can just move regular. Maneuver on the first turn is important. So what do we do with this guy? He can go up there. So this guy can probably... He's going to have a unit in here. He's going to move there, I think. So that gives me some flexibility with this guy. He's entrenched for four. <clears throat> How do I bring him down? I 
For now, I guess I can leave them there, although I don't really want to leave this empty. Well, he doesn't have a paratrooper yet, right? So I'll have to figure out when that guy's going to come out. Okay, so now I got 31 left. Could have gone in there. I don't think it's worth it. I couldn't. I could have hit him, but I couldn't have moved back. Maybe it would have been worth it. But then I would have given him this, and he could have tried to get around. So I think I'm good where I'm at. Let's see here. I think we're going to be okay there. I think we're going to be all right like this for just right now. There's a four-factor guy in here. This guy is entrenched a little bit. Could move him forward, but I don't know if that buys me anything. I think we're going to be okay there. All right. Let's... Uh, we have a, a couple of points left to spend. So, could reinforce him for one. And that would be 15, I think. Oh, no, seven. Seven leaves me with 25. That's going to work out. Um, how much does it cost to reinforce this guy? 11. Hmm. Leaving me with 14, which 7 and 7 would be pretty good. Do one point here. One point, I can't do one point there. All right. And reinforce him a point, leaving me with seven, which I have nowhere to reinforce. So I think I'm done here. All right. Let's see what's next. Let's go check out India. All right, hold on. So India, well, they don't have a lot going on right now. Let's um, let's go over to the Soviets. We know we want to move some of these. Well, first of all, let's go all the way over to the West Coast because you know we're going to want to force march these guys as rapidly as possible. send them over to help out against you know who I think you can go guard Battle of Vostok <clears throat> alright well now over here go to Minsk. Hold on. I gotta think. Thinking is hard. Come on down here. You come on down here. 
You come down to there. Now, let's see here. Are we going to leave Leningrad empty? Let's see here, what else we got going on? Huh. Do I want to reinforce any of these guys? I'm going to think a little more. Because thinking is better than uh, executing without thought, right? Okay, let's see here. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Where can you go? We know we want to bring you up here, right? And you're going to go ahead and uh, work your way down to somewhere. You're going to work your way over there. That's going to be okay. You're going to sit in there. We are tempting. get to some type of defense by Kiev. So Zidomir we might leave empty. So this guy here, go here. This guy here can go there. This guy here can come on down. I am still not over uh, the fact that he took Warsaw in one turn. And that's just phenomenally good, right? That's phenomenally good. Hmm. Uh, let me think here. So we have these guys coming down. Do we bring the Moscow crew? Certainly bring him forward. Let's bring him from here. You can get to Stalino. I guess you'll just stay there for now. Question is, do I want to give up Odessa without a fight? The answer is probably not. Romansk is definitely going to stay protected. <coughs> so, what do we do here? What do we do with these guys? I don't know yet. Let's see, you are. I think we're going to have to move these guys around a little bit here in the near future. Although, this is a trap, right? So, you always got to hate this guy right here because it is, in fact, a marsh. So, I might have to move him up next time. I'm going to move him behind the river. Oh, I can't. Hmm. It'll be okay for the turn. It'll be fine. The only thing we haven't decided yet is if we move these guys forward. To protect Smolensk. 
I'm not sure. All I know is I get 125 left and we'll figure that one out later. You probably need to move forward though. We're going to force march you as well. I get this line set up so it's defendable. I need another unit here as well. I don't even know if I'm going to go up to the Baltic States. Moscow troops. Moscow troops. I guess we're going to leave them there for the inevitable assault. Okay. More thinking is required. I'll be back. All right, team. I'm still kind of thinking about what I'm doing here. I don't know that I'm there yet. All I know is we will need units forward from Smolensk. Keep them on the rail. Oh, goodness. Goodness and gracious. All right, let's think about France. I don't think France has any research. They have almost no money. Right, no research, no money. Let's go ahead and do the set mode auto assist. Oh, yeah, before I forget, let's do that with the... Uh, Let's do that with him, too. I know we still got some money to spend over here. We're going to have to think about that a little bit. All right, so over here. Got a lot of guys. Let's see. Do we, can we move him? So what if we Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to get my guys forward, right? Might have to switch some stuff around here. And let's think on this. I gotta figure it out. So it is all about the headquarters unit, right? Like this guy can only he can still move four action points. So I could move him up here. Okay, I'm still confused. I'm still confused as to how to do this the best way. Hold on. All right, so I think I'm figuring it out, right? So I think if I take him, first of all, let's see. We don't necessarily need to have him. We detach him. These I can't do. What if we attach him? Do I even need to? Yeah, let's attach him. All right, so let's move him forward. 
I think we can swap these guys out. Hold on for a second. What's going on there? How come I can't continue to move him? He's got four action points. I'm going to swap you out, and I should still be able to reinforce you now. Yes, okay. That's the key. All right, and then you... I'm probably going to do the same thing with one of these guys over here. So you have four action points to move you here. And then swap you out with this guy. All right. So that's looking good. Now, I gotta figure out what to do next. This guy is definitely gonna be moving in here. Now, what do I gotta do to, what do I got? These guys can now upgrade or get an additional dude, I think. Over here, we're definitely gonna move this guy over and bring him up, right? There's no reason not to transport him. I'll make sure we do this now before we spend the rest of our money. Uh, go in here, land, and then move behind the river. It's the only way to go. Okay, so he's got two guys out here plus a submarine. So that doesn't make me happy at all. But what is this guy? That is a core. And that is a core. So he's bringing two core to Abyssinia. Two whole cores. That's a lot of core. Put him here. I really want to see what these guys are going to be doing. It's okay to have your supply go down a little bit. Okay. You can come into here, because that's a port we own. Let's go over there. Let's see here. Let's take you up to Beirut. Let's take you over here. Let's take you in another direction. you as well. Yeah, that'll be good. <clears throat> okay, more French stuff here. And we are going to want to look for that guy, right? We're going to want to look for the enemy fleet. You get some submarines up here somewhere. Let's go find them. I wonder what he did with his subs. Let's get back to that later. Let's think about how we're going to finish this off. Okay, we got a little bit of money left. Let's think about how to spend it. 
I'm going to take a look at a bunch of little things and then I'll come back. Stand by. All right, Tim, we do not have a lot of money, but we have a little bit of money. What about this guy? I think I want to put him in here. You can go there. Let's see. He's here. He's okay. Where does he go? That matter where is he? he's not going anywhere. Let's reinforce him. One point. Okay. Do I want a army or a core in there? That is the question. Put a core in there. Two armies behind it. Feel like I feel like I don't have enough units. Hold off on that for just a second. Give you a point. Let's give you a point. Now let's put you there. Let's give you a point. Give you a point, maybe? Oh, hold on. I know we still got a guy way down here in Madagascar. You're going to get motored over to here. All right. <clears throat> now. What do we do here? We got how much money left? We got 12 left. We moved him, so that ain't happening. I might as well reinforce this guy for a point. And that would be the end of that. Okay. We're out with the fleet. We have everything done for the French. The only thing is, is where do we leave? We're not, definitely not going to leave the bombers where they can be sniped. So let's just move them. Same thing with you. Let's just... Uh, I don't think you'll be sniping them right away, but 
Let's just go ahead and move him. All right, I don't see an armor unit here, so I wonder where that thing is going. Yeah, I'm still very scared that he uh, took Poland in w the very first turn. That was such a fantastic move. I'm going to be studying. Hopefully he posts that. Uh, but I'm going to be studying that for quite a while. All right, so what else do we have going on in Africa? So he's definitely going to be coming to Africa. He's got two cores coming. So let's uh, reinforce this headquarters a point. That's expensive. Reinforce him a point. This guy's good. This guy. I'm going to operate him. Get him to a port. And this looks good. You're going to get a point. You're definitely going to get reinforced. The max I can do is three. Let's hold off on that. I will be reinforcing them. So this is going to get scary with two more cores coming down. I'm, I'm figuring I'll be tracking those all the way down to the south. Um, okay, let's think about the, uh, let's think about other stuff. Let's take a look at research for the Brits. It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. So we're going to want to do some raider action on these convoy routes, right? And we're going to want to do it in a way so that he can't get by with any Submarines. So if we go here. Do I have a submarine? I do. Might as well place him. Here. This guy here can come out. Okay, here's going to come out to here. You will raid her away. Here. And you'll sit there. Okay, now I should be able to see any subs coming through there without any issues, right? So, let's see what else we got here. Let, let me think about the rest of this for a second. So what am I thinking? I'm thinking these guys are both three set the raider. I'm doing a blockade move in case he brings the subs back. <clears throat> I don't know that I want to leave that guy there though. Okay, he's a little bit susceptible, right? So Actually, you're a battle cruiser. You are a light cruiser. Light cruiser might be better to handle that up there. <clears throat> Actually, right now, there's no way in through there without me seeing you, right? So, unless you're in hide mode. All right, so let's go see if we can't find these submarines.
And I'm all about getting these subs dead. And the battle cruisers. You're going to be okay. What about you? Okay. Oh, you're definitely going to take an upgrade. To advanced fighter one. Uh, you're going to go ahead and reinforce one. These are expensive and they take a while to do. You're going to go to Norwich so I can bomb this later on. Um... It's kind of all the British stuff. Although I am scared here in London right now, right? Um, we don't want Operation Sea Lion to happen, that's for sure. So, let's see what else we got going on. You need an upgrade. Don't need mobility, you do need anti air. We have that one guy here that still needs an upgrade or a reinforcement. Okay, so he's bringing two core. That's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. Okay, the fleet is out. He doesn't know that there's nothing in here. The fleet is out. Let's take a look at America. Research. Hmm. I think we're probably going to be okay, but let, let's think about America and what we're going to do with our 35 money. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. I went and got more coffee. Coffee's important in the morning. So what are we going to do with the Americans? Well, if we're going to ever operate this guy, we're probably going to put him here. Don't know that I need to spend any money. What's going on on the other side? Other side of the world. Got a carrier. Air. Nothing that I can do a lot of stuff with. Midway and Wake is empty. I really, again, I haven't played the Allies, so I'm not really quite sure what to do. Uh, I've emptied out. England, which I don't know is great, but there isn't anything there to start with. And I want to buy some anti-air for over here. They've got no money left. The Soviets, however, do have a little bit of money left. But I don't know that I want to spend it right now. So, that's the thing. We have 21 left for the Brits. What else could I spend my money on for the British? Could upgrade the carrier. A bit advanced fighters. That cost 18. I've got these units over here, so I think I might want to can upgrade that or reinforce that. Why? I'll tell you what. It gets rough. Rough in a hurry. Rough. I do want. Better fighters. And now, got one left. Let's uh, reinforce him for a point. Just because, and that'll be that for that. These guys are done. I don't know.
That should be okay first turn. There's no paratroopers just yet, right? Although something's going to have to go in there eventually. That I'm not going to mess with. What to buy with 125 guys? Research. Oh, we haven't done anything yet. So let's let's uh, let's make sure we get infantry weapons. So anti tanks going to go away. And we're going to buy infantry weapons. And that leaves us with almost nothing. So I think we're good. Close that up. And then we didn't do these guys yet. And they're not in the war yet, I don't think. Or maybe they are. I'm not sure. What's this? Red UK, India. Uh, let's check research. We do want infantry weapons. We do not need advanced tanks. I don't know that they have a lot. And probably not long-range aircraft strikes. So now we've got some money to, to handle that. I think I want to save them. So as I've learned in my last game, headquarters are really important. So maybe I'm going to purchase me a headquarters. Okay, so these guys have no money. Is there anything left I can do here? I can move these guys. Might as well let them be a bother, right? Get in the way. This is terrible. He will be coming down here, I'm sure. I've got uh, $7 that I can't do anything with. So, since I'm going to save that money and I've got no other monies left, I think I'm going to be good for the turn. Operationally speaking, I'm trying to find the enemy here. He might have gone north. We'll bring some guys out next time. See if we can't find those subs in that one unit. Saving that money for headquarters, because what does headquarters cost? 405. A lot of money. Like, do I have anything else that I want to do? Again, I'm trying to be much more thoughtful here. Let's take a look at the world. Oh, we got a unit down here. Let's move him north, get him towards someplace more useful. Or does he go the other direction? Well, for now, let's get him straight out here. All right, good to go. Um, see if I get anything else. Nothing over here. This is all done. No ships over there in port. These guys are over there. They're, well, I could probably do something over here, right? Move these guys around a little bit. One's in Cairo. Does he need to be in Cairo? What's supply like here? Five and five. Doesn't really lend itself to getting better supply. Supply, five, five, five. Supply is six there. Five there, five there. Doesn't really help any. Definitely going to have to upgrade that Alexandria. Who is that? Connor. O'Connor. You know, I've always wanted to see this sack replaced with thing. Can I just put Montgomery there and make it better? I, I've never used this. If you guys let me know how that works and uh, whether or not that's doable or if that costs money. I don't want to click on it and have something stupid happen. This guy is O'Connor. He's got a rating of 5. I'm not going to do that because I don't know what I'm doing. Probably need to get on a regular game and just play with it, right? Okay, let's uh, let's go and see what happens. Scary, scary. I'm scared. All right, here we go. That was just too quick. Okay, 
The Viceroy is considering declaring India to be a belligerent state. Absolutely. Let's, let's declare war. Oh, looks like we get some of these guys. That's nice. Um, relieve pressure on China via the Hanoi Kuming Railway. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Chinese morale is boosted by 250 points. Absolutely. Let's go with that. So let's see. What's Chinese morale at now? Can't see that. Uh, Norway complains of attacks. That's okay. Axis disrupts UK convoys. So there is something out there. They're out here. They're out here and I need to go get them. All right. I lose 90 in exchange for 60. I think that's worth it though. I'm not sure why India is minus 40. Oh, minus 46 to the UK. I lost 14 from Canada for that guy. And the BEF deploys. All right. All right. Looks like we're calculating supply, and that's going to be it. Packing it up and letting it go. You've been gaming with the Colonel. This is my very first ally run. I'm excited, but for now, I'm out.